السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آئی ول ڈسکس کمیونیکیشن ان انورٹر اے سی بورڈ واٹ از کمیونیکیشن کمیونیکیشن از چینج آف انفارمیشن چینج آف ڈاٹا بٹوین انڈور یونٹ اینڈ آؤٹ ڈور یونٹ ایز وی نو ان انڈور یونٹ اینڈ آؤٹ ڈور یونٹ وی ہیو مائکرو کمپیوٹر ہیئر مائکرو کمپیوٹر ہیئر اور مائکرو کنٹرولر مائکرو کنٹرولر ہیئر دس از آور انڈور یونٹ اینڈ ہیئر وی ہیو آؤٹ ڈور یونٹ وی اپلائی ٹو ہنڈریڈ ٹوینٹی وولٹ ٹو بوتھ سرکٹس انڈور کنٹرول یونٹ بورڈ انڈور کنٹرول یونٹ بورڈ آؤٹ ڈور کنٹرول یونٹ بورڈ آفٹر دیٹ ٹو مینیج دیئر فنکشنس ٹو کنٹرول دیئر فنکشن ٹو چیک دیئر پرفارمنس ایفیشنسی ایرس it use a communication line this microcontroller and this microcontroller we have communication line between the both units indoor and outdoor what is communication we will discuss in detail let's first i will show what is the communication this time i have just only outdoor unit board this board have fault abnormal voltage and pfc fail power factor correction why because this board does not have igbts and this board does not have bridge rectifier this is a series of videos in first series i discussed input filter and protection circuit here and then i discussed pfc circuit you can check these videos and then we uh, discussed low voltage power supply and today we are going to discuss communication so in communication we have an interface transmitter receive interface transmitter receive interface in both units indoor and outdoor how it will work we will discuss it it is normally 50 volt signal it is dc level it is 50 volt and its switching level is 18 volt it is offset dc voltage 50 volt but in the top level we have set multimeter to ac if you want to check communication and our multimeter will show like this this is communication in ac mode if you want to check in dc mode between neutral and communication cable it should 50 volt some boards have 25 volt 23 volts this green board it have 55 volt and it have fluctuation this is actually not a fluctuation it means the board is sending some data the varying voltage if you check at ac you will find like this because in ac it cannot detect, a multimeter cannot detect the voltage but in dc the voltage level is varying if you use oscilloscope use isolation transformer to monitor this signal and we can monitor the communication so friends if you don't have a good practical knowledge practical experience never try to work on these boards this is our neutral line so neutral is coming here at this point it will pass to other side of a board and it will reach at capacitor negative terminal why directly at capacitor negative terminal because it will use negative line as a return line line voltage will reach after these filter networks these voltage will come to these protections ptcs and then these voltage will reach at this fuse after fuse these voltage are reaching here at these two resistors as we discussed in our first video the voltage will reach line voltage from these protections these voltage are reaching at this point after fuse these voltage are going to relay section so from the same relay line this is these voltage are going to relay from the relay line we have 1 2 3 4 resistors and then these voltage are going to this diode 
one two three four diodes and then we have a capacitor this capacitor will charge on the rectified voltage in this board it is using about 56 57 volt in some boards it will use 20 volt 25 volt it is based on the design of the board in this model we have this power supply in outdoor unit the same at indoor unit some boards some models have just only one power supply in either in indoor unit or outdoor unit just we have to find the voltage if we find DC voltage set voltmeter to DC connect between neutral and the communication wire you will find DC voltage so that means we have power supply and if the voltage are varying that means the circuit is communicating then we have two optocouplers one is for transmission second for reception when this board will send some data it will activate this LED in the optocoupler and it will switch this voltage this low voltage signal this high voltage signal this signal up to 5 volt and this signal based on power supply it is 56 volt so it will send 56 volt if it have 20 volt power supply 25 volt so it will send 25 volt signal so voltage will pass here in the switching and if we will receive some data from indoor unit at that time this optocoupler will work and it will go in listen mode talk mode listen mode when we press power on button from remote we send some data what is the mode of operation for example it is cool dry heat fan mode so it will send data power on command temperature setting fan speed like that so this data will reach at this microcontroller and if it have to turn on the compressor it will send data to this outdoor unit outdoor unit microcontroller will receive this data how it will send data as we see in the oscilloscope the circuit is working on clock pulses it have a special timing sequence so this data it it is sent in bundles some board work on 32 bit some board work on 48 bit some boards send data 46 bits and some 96 bits and their transmission clock frequency is 30 kilohertz the data will be sent in hex code what is hex code from 0 to F it is the processor language the code in the memory IC here and code in the indoor unit they should flow the code here what code is sending to outdoor unit it will listen and it will match the code with EEPROM first we have to turn on so it will check what commands to be sent what action to be done on this remote signal so it will read the EEPROM and it will send the data to compressor that turn on your computer turn on your compressor outdoor unit this data will be sent to outdoor unit and outdoor unit will check its EEPROM what is the code and it will read the next commands what to do now for example the code come here to turn on compressor so it will turn on compressor it will activate the PFC circuit and it will if you want to cool mode so it have to turn off the heat cool valve if it have to turn on the heat mode then it have to operate the heat and cool valve like that and it have to check the conditions errors the voltage levels current settings and function of the bolt it will monitor all the safeties and it will send data to the boards for example this board indoor unit want to send code 7 7 means 0 1 1 1 it is binary code comparing 
clock pulses in first clock pulse it will write one then off then one then one then zero so it will write zero one 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 zero one 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 so when the next this processor will receive zero one 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 it will translate this binary data to its code what is the code code is seven so it will check what is the translation of seven so it is written the software in the code in the source code so it is communication between these two sets now these voltage at this capacitor which are rectified which are passing from these two resistors diode and here these voltage will reach at this optocoupler we have two type of optocouplers one is for reception the second for transmission i just only draw the symbols of optocouplers i did not make a resistor network and diodes because it uses many components other which are supporting to communicate in transmission mode it will switch these voltage here in reception mode it will activate this diode what is the difference between the both optocouplers because this is connected to microcontroller so microcontroller is using low voltage so here is using pc817 or like that but in high voltage section it will use high voltage transistor high voltage optocoupler output side should be high voltage transistor if this one is using low voltage transistor this one so it is pc817 but here it will use pc851 852 853 or might be it is using k814 824 844 like that so these are 300 volt so 824 is using 70 volt but this 853 851 852 it is using 300 volt pc851 it is 300 volts here collector vceo voltage collector to emitter voltage 300 volt it will receive commands from this microcontroller from this through this current limit resistor and this this side is connected to this microcontroller the second side is connected to the second resistor and we have rc network to protect from false switching it will send data to this optocoupler when it want to send data to this optocoupler and here we receive voltage we receive this this voltage here 56 volt at this optocoupler but in the emitter side when it will start switching it will start to communicate we can see it is communicating and if indoor unit is connected at that time we will receive data at these two pins but this time it is because indoor unit is not connected here we will receive 5 volt signal at the output of this first optocoupler pc817 if we have error communication error first what we do we have to check dc voltage at communication line and neutral line we have to check voltage at these two points and then we check DC voltage here if we cannot find fluctuation at variation at these two pins so we have to check DC voltage so we can find DC voltage variation it is using 56 volt and some boards might be using 23 volt 24 volt depending upon the type of the board this time i am using just only outdoor board so our this optocoupler is switching when it will come in receive mode and indoor board is connected so at that time we will also receive data on this optocoupler if we have communication problem we have to verify dc voltage on neutral and communication line and we have to check variation in the voltage so that if you have oscilloscope you can monitor the signal either it is communicating or no 
now we will see some examples of the same communication this is our communication line red wire it is coming here and we have this resistor network which I discussed I did not draw on my this diagram to make it simple I did not connect it for best understanding the other other relative components so now if it want to send data it will out from pin number 47 the same code here it will send pulses from 47 number pin and it will drive this LED in the optocoupler and in the output side it will switch voltage from this point and we will receive output at red wire communication wire between neutral and communication and when we receive some data from indoor unit and it will reach here and it will reach at this LED of this optocoupler and it will operate in the in that time it will send this 5 volt signal to pin number 45 of this microcontroller and it will receive data in transmission it will send data from 47 and we will receive in the indoor unit from the indoor unit we will receive in this way in this model we have two optocouplers here one is for reception the second for transmission the reception optocoupler will receive data and it will send to this microcontroller and when this microcontroller want to send data to indoor unit it will operate this optocoupler PTC2 PC2 so PC2 optocoupler will switch these voltage which are rectified from here and from D7 and this up capacitor and this will transfer these voltage to output and it is using 24 volt in our condition in this board it is using 56 volt here we are using 24 volt in reception it will use this path and in transmission it will use this path communication line will remain same and neutral and phase will apply voltage to charge this capacitor if this network voltage supply is in outdoor unit that's okay if it is an indoor unit that's okay if it is using twisted pair cable communication so in that way we, it will use four optocouplers the working principle will remain same it will use two optocouplers for reception two optocouplers for transmission and four lines one two three four will reach here on this microcontroller two for reception two for transmission so friends i hope so this video is informative it is informative give a thumb up if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh